guys, this is Allison here at Learning at the Primary Pond. Um, today I want to show you a fun little activity that I use when I'm teaching kids about butterflies and the butterfly life cycle. So the purpose of this activity is to help kids understand what symmetry is and also that the wings of a butterfly are symmetrical. But when I do the activity with a group of kids, I don't talk to them about what symmetry is before we do the lesson. Um, I wait until after we do the craft so that the kids have an opportunity to kind of see what happens and form their own ideas. So to do the project, you're going to need some washable or tempera paints, like this. It's best if you have a couple different colors. Um, you're going to need some Q-tips. And you're probably going to want to have some paper plates, too. The last thing you're going to need is these butterfly symmetry sheets. Um, you can get them from my butterflies unit, or you can just draw a picture of a butterfly and then copy it. That works just fine, too. So the thing I love about this is that it's painting, but it's not very messy. Um, what I do is I take the paper plate, take a bunch of different paper plates, actually, and I will put a little bit of each color on the paper plate. So some blue, some yellow, and then probably some other colors if you have them. Um, and then I put the paper plate on, I put one paper plate on each of my kids' tables. And then I also put a bunch of Q-tips on the tables. And I tell them um, not to use one Q-tip in more than one color so that the colors don't get mixed. Okay, so once the paint is all set up, then I give my kids these butterfly symmetry sheets. And before I give the sheets to them, what I do is I folded in half because I've only ever done this with kindergartners and um, they can't really fold things in half very well yet. So they get these pre-folded sheets. And then what I tell them to do is I tell them to make a design on just one side of the butterfly. It doesn't really matter which side that they choose, but they're supposed to make the design on just one side. And I also tell them that they need to do it pretty quickly because the paint will dry and then the activity won't work. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make my design. So let's see. They do kind of need to use a lot of paint because otherwise, um, again, it will dry and the activity just won't work quite right. Okay, so now I'm going to add a little yellow. All right, so not super creative. I'm sure your kids will do much better. But now what I need to do is I need to take this and pretty quickly I need to fold it over. You also wanna tell your kids that they kinda of need to press down on this side so that it transfers. Okay, so if they do it correctly, what's going to happen is, of course, that they're going to see the same design, more or less, on both sides of the paper. It's not going to come out perfectly, like you can still see that this side is much darker, but they're going to get the idea. So then we put the butterflies away to dry, and I have them talk to a partner about what they noticed. So after that, we talk about it as a group. Um, we talk about the fact that what was on one side is on the other side and how that's true of real butterflies too. And at that point, I do introduce the word symmetry. After that, we might make some kind of anchor chart or read a book or do other some sort of extension activity. And you can find some ideas for that on the blog. So that's the butterfly symmetry craft. Pretty simple. My kids really love doing this every year, and it's a great way to introduce the concept of symmetry. Um, I hope you try this in your own classroom, and I hope you guys enjoy doing it as much as we do. That's it, and thanks so much for watching.